How yet another shocking week in Washington came to an end. House Democrats have filed their resolution of disapproval challenging Donald Trump's decision to call a national emergency in order to build a wall on the U.S. southern border with Mexico. While the president has claimed there is a crisis of illegal immigration in the United States, Democrats have questioned his motives and noted that Mr. Trump himself has suggested that he did not need to declare the emergency. The president on Thursday touted the contributions of African Americans during an event to honor Black History Month. Meanwhile, Ahmed Ali Muthana, the father of Alabama ISIS bride Hoda Muthana, announced he is suing the administration for its unlawful attempt to rescind her citizenship and block a return to the U.S. Lawyers have told The Independent that an executive effort to revoke citizenship amounts to the act of an authoritarian. In Syria, the U.S. has rode back on its decision for a full withdrawal of troops following the apparent defeat of the Islamist militants and will now leave around 200 soldiers behind to safeguard the region. Mr. Trump on Friday weighed in on several issues, including the charges brought against his friend and billionaire owner of the New England Patriots Robert Kraft over prostitution allegations. He called those charges shocking, but noted that Mr. Kraft had denied the charges against him. The president also suggested that he might extend a deadline for trade negotiations with China, saying that the negotiators have been having success. Next week, Mr. Trump is scheduled to travel to Vietnam for a meeting with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, where he and his administration say that they hope he can build on the previous summit with Mr. Kim last year in Singapore.